Right, so this video is looking at risk. Now we have two types. We can talk about the absolute risk, and that's pretty simple. It's just working out what's the probability of this thing happening. And when we're talking about risk, we're usually talking about bad things happening. You wouldn't talk about the risk of winning a prize, for example. Um, so you would simply work out the probability of this bad thing happening. Relative risk is when we work out the probability of that happening relative to another factor, and it's normally something that we would consider that would make the chances of this bad thing happening worse. For example, you might um, think about this with, there's a risk that everyone has of developing lung cancer, but smokers have a much higher risk. So you could work out the relative risk for smokers um, to work out how much more likely they are to develop lung cancer than um, non-smokers. To work out relative risk, you do the absolute risk of one divided by the absolute risk of the other. And the one that you put on the top is the thing that is including that risky factor. So in our example of smokers, it was those that smoke would be considered the riskier. And the one that goes on the bottom is your um, risk of it happening without that factor. So the non-smokers. So let's see this is, oh, let's just do one more thing. Um, if that turns out to be greater than 1, that means that A is more likely than B. The thing on the top is more than the thing on the bottom, so it's more likely. Okay, so let's put some numbers into it. If we've got the chance that a non-smoker develops lung cancer is 0.0066. The chance that a smoker develops lung cancer is 0.01. The relative risk for smokers, so how much more likely are they? We put their risk at the top, and that's the 0.01. And then the non-smoker's risk goes on the bottom. And we calculate that answer, so we get 1.52 if you put that into your calculator. What that means is that a smoker is 1.52 times more likely to develop lung cancer than a non-smoker. Alright, let's look at another example. Uh, Max keeps a record of the number of times he uses his phone in class and the number of punishment he receives. And it looks like this. So we, we're going to do a table like you've done before. And he fills in these details. These are lessons where he used his phone and received some sort of punishment. Um, and there were some lessons where he wasn't using his phone, but he received a punishment for something else and lessons where he wasn't punished. So first thing is to fill in the totals. And then we can work out some stuff with this table. So calculate the risk, first of all, that Max gets a punishment. So we're looking at that 49 was how many times he was punished out of 89 total. So that's just a straightforward absolute risk. 49 divided by 89. He's got a 0.55 chance of receiving a punishment in lessons. Now calculate the um, risk that Max is punished when he used his phone. So we're restricting this down to only looking at when he used his phone. What's the chances that he got a punishment there? So it's that 42 divided by the 47, because we're only looking at the, the times when he actually used his phone. So the chance of punishment in those situations was 0.8936. Now, notice I'm turning these all into decimals. That's what we do when we do risk, and we try to keep it to four decimal places as well, so that we don't lose any accuracy. All right, what's the risk that he was punished when not using his phone? So we're just going to look at this row here. We're restricting it down to only considering the times he wasn't using his phone. And he received a punishment seven times out of those, out of a total of 42 times he wasn't using his phone. So he, that's a chance of 0 0.1667. OK, with that, we can now work out a relative risk. What's the relative risk of punishment when using his phone? So how much more likely was he to be punished when he was using his phone? So we want to do the risky thing first. So that was the using his phone goes on the top, so that's 0 0.8936. Compared to the, the non-risky thing, the not using his phone. And work out that division. 
5.36. Now, a lot of the time you'll need to think about what that actually means. So in this situation, it means that Max is 5.3 times more likely to get a punishment in lessons if he uses his phone. So if he doesn't want to receive punishments, he should keep his phone in his bag.